Hi, hello, Ruby here. Um, today in Enshrouded, I will show you how to get the best rings for spell spellcasters. And the ring in question I'm talking about is the this ring over here, the ring of rapacity. And what this ring does is that it significantly increases your mana regeneration, even though it comes with a drawback of uh, reducing your mana pool. But that doesn't stop this ring from being the best ring for mana cat for spellcasters. Now the main thing you'll notice with um, spell casting, especially when casting spells like your fireball, the heals and stuff like that, is that when you cast it, mana comes back slowly or mana regenerates slowly. That's what this ring does. Now I'll go ahead and equip it. And you see how quickly my mana just goes zoom back all the way up. My mana bar just goes back. So I'll cast the fireball. I can see how quickly it's going back up. And so what this does that allows you to infinitely cast spells without ever running out because it's regening so fast. And that's why this ring is really good for spellcasters, especially if you get both of them. Now the cool thing about this ring is that it's easily farmable. It's comes from the exact same place there's no RNG involved at all and you can always just farm it just go to the place twice I able to get it now to get this ring you have to go to this section of the map here so this is where you start from the cinder vault most players usually build their first base over here which is where mine is now if you go up here on the map all the way to this village here, Willow Crush. This is where the ring is located. Now, to get to Willow Crush, there's a luckily for us, we have a spire here, the ancient spire in Re Revel Revelwood Fast Travel uh, Revelwood, which will be a fast travel location there. What you need to do is you teleport to that location here, which is what we're going to do right now. And once we fast travel to this location, it's a simple glide away which makes it pretty easy to reach and pretty easy to farm too. And so we are going to go ahead and set Willowwood. Okay, we have it set as our waypoint. And so once you arrive at the fast travel location here, just jump over here, go to the side here. Now, if you look at the tip of my helmet, right at the very tip there, you see the roof of a, of a building that's what we're jumping to, or that's what we're flying to. Okay, that that glide wasn't graceful. I was supposed to jump. I'll do a double jump before gliding, but we're still able to make it down. So we just go this way. Now, if you do not have the ability here, which is to updraft you can always just go to where the bridge is over there and make your way across to the village itself now once we get to the to the village what we're looking for is this silo looking things the one in particular you're looking from if we use the bridge as our point of orientation if you look towards the village here it's this silo you're looking for i notice in this silo here there is rubble here at times, might need to take care of. Um, that was overkill, me blasting those bees over there. But yeah, this is the rubble you're looking for. This rubble right here, and all you need to do, equip your iron pickaxe or any pickaxe you have, and then just dig your way through. And this is the chest right here. Once you open it, you see you get a ring of rapacity right there. You just take it fast travel back to the same tower you log out of the game log back in or if you want just do it uh, wait a few about a few night cycles but if we log out and log back in we'll log back in We'll be at the spire and we can just do a glide back to the same village to the same location and get the second ring the exact same ring also 
there we go and so we're back in the game we'll do the same thing again we go to the spire the one in revelwood we fast travel over there and once we're there we'll do the exact same thing we'll jump here aim towards the building like that's much better glide and so this time I'll take I'll go by the bridge so you can see that it is reachable so for the bridge you just go to the side over here and I'm doing this second I'm going through the bridge for those who do not have you have to kill these guys And that's it and we're back in the village itself you can easily run past those guys because they can jump through all those gaps there and just run back to the same location here you see the, the mound is right there again and the bees are here again but just ignore them just dig your way through and we'll have the chest again just loot it and that's it and then from there you can just tr fast travel back to your base And the ring is yours and that's how easy it is to get the best ring so far in the game for spellcasters and so I'll go ahead and um, open my um, backpack I can see those are the two rings we just got okay and that's it and so with that guys um, that's it for this um, guide over here where we get again the best ring for spellcasters in the game and also then see you guys later Roby out.